just the smell, isn't it? Esperamos. I think I think there is. Did she want what she want? Spices. Spices. What's that over there? Um, wine and spirits. Spices pick in the world. Aye. Oh look. <laughs> Scott, at least Scotch bonnet. Yeah. And and mojo picon. Salsa brava, mojo picon, paella. Cheese. Sorry about the strobing, it's just a wee bit of the lighting in here. Oysters. <laughs> this is the fish centre. The centre of the market's all dedicated to fish. It wraps round the whole of the central bit and they're all different individual stalls. Anne and I are looking at all the various ham-ons that we're going to take home. Hi folks, we're just down from the hotel. This is the market de Santa Catarina. It's a, sm it's a smaller market than the big market where the uh, the food stalls are, but equally as nice as you'll notice inside. Lovely vibe. Hi, I know it's a restaurant. The market's down here. Yeah, here we go. This is the market, the Santa Catarina. Another food market, similar to the other one. But a wee bit smaller scale, but not a lot. Still nice. So lovely. Uh -huh. One thing I'd say about the Spanish markets, the quality of the food is absolutely excellent. It really is. The quality of the food is absolutely excellent. And I love the fact that you can just walk in here, sit up at all these stalls and they make up your own whatever you want to eat, they'll make it up for you. Beautiful fruit and veg stall in the middle there. I would say this is more manageable than the other Aye, one. It's, it's, it's better laid out, it's not as it's not as manic as the other one. Mind you, have yeah. It's more look probably in it as well, it's um, the fact that the other one's off La Rambla so it tends to be more of a tourist trap. But this is sort of a more local vibe, it's got meat stalls and, and it's got these lovely wee pop-up tapas bars. It's even got handbags on. Oh yeah, chocolate bars. Anne's in her element now because it's handbags. Sustainable handcraft. And as I say, this is only a two minute walk from the hotel. Wonderful fresh porridges, but then again, they've got the climate for it. Handcrafted burgers, veal, pork, picanto, small quail. That's the paprika polo, pollo. The Spanish is getting bad. The size of these peppers, absolutely wonderful. 
I'll give you a price comparison. A salted pepper is two ninety nine. Oh, sorry, two euros ninety. Now, if you're in Morrison's, you'd get three for one forty, and they're only third of the size of those. Absolutely amazing. Beef tomatoes. One seventy five, and that's per kilo. And the one seventy five is the one seventy five is per kilo. I know. What are they at home? Oh, one like that. It's lovely pizzas with homemade basic, and they've been vacuum packed as well. Oh. Selection of olives. And the Rila. Hamels. This uh, we market down from the hotel is so much cheaper than the one in Las Ramblas. Maybe not so much of a tourist trap. The size of these leeks. for a whole, 3 euros 50 for a whole watermelon, and they're enormous. Here's the fish. The tuna looks absolutely fantastic, so fresh. Dover sole. It's a Dover sole. Unusual to see that in Spain because it's a cold water fish. Yeah. <laughs> Salted cod, bacala. You didn't do a lot with it, it's salted. Fresh produce is really exceptional. 